What is going on guys, Shinji from C0 Media. In today's episode, we got the FD RX-7 back in the garage and I promise, we're gonna get this thing started. So just to recap, it was about a year and a half ago where I took the motor out, rebuilt everything from the head to the block to everything that goes into it, upgraded some components, put it back in the car, and I got to a point where it cranks. But if you remember from the last episode, the car was cranking too slow. It was going... So, uh, when that was happening, because it's a brand new engine, I figured it was an electrical issue. I changed the starter, I changed the battery, I started checking ground points, current, voltage everywhere with my multimeter. I even relocated the fuse box from under the engine bay into the cabin behind the seat with a brand new aftermarket distribution box with like a brand new relay and a fuse. Even after doing all that, the car was still cranking too slow. One of the days I was walking my RX-7 by myself in the garage trying to get it started and my friend Raj from EVO 10 videos, the engine builder, stopped by my house, heard the car cranking and he was like, you know, this is a brand new engine but what if you check compression just to see what happens and sure enough when we did the compression test we had zero compression on all of the cylinders except for one which is very strange so right there and then i took off all the heads took it back to Pashko, and Pashko took the head to the guy we hired out to get the head ported. So here's what happened. For some unknown reason, the guy Pashko took to a trusted engine builder putting valves that were too long in length. So even at the fully closed position, these valves were not uh, sealed up. It wasn't building compression, except for one cylinder, which was also strange and uh, slowing me off at the same time, because if it had no compression in all eight cylinders, then it was just spin and spin and spin lightly. And I'm like, okay, this there's no compression there and there. But because there was compression in just one cylinder, it was doing this up and down thing where it would just spin for the duration of seven cylinders. And then it would just have one compression so one resistance and then go spin again. So you, I had no idea what's going on until we did the compression test. So Pashko dropped up the heads to the head builder. He put in the right valves this time. I got all new gaskets, all new uh, head studs and nuts and bolts and everything. So today I got, again, a brand new head in a box ready to go back onto the car. So that's why the FD looks like this right now. So at this point in my build, I am very much familiar with removing the head and reinstalling the head because I've done it multiple times. So I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse myself, slapping on the new head back on the RX-7. So, oh yeah, so these were the older valves that uh, was for some reason mistaken. This is just trash. I got all new head gaskets, head studs, and in here are my brand new head. For the next couple hours, I'm gonna unwrap this put it on the car and really reassemble everything back on the car. I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse because I have done this so many times, just like on my Evos, I've done the head rebuild many times. I'm very familiar with the process. I don't even need to explain anything. So head installation, time lapse video, here we go. Alright guys, so I spent about 4-5 hours putting the head back on FD, all the components back on it, and look at that. It's back where it should be. Now I undid the coil plugs right here, as well as I'm gonna undo the fuel pump relay back here. 
just to kind of get the oil circulation going inside the engine. Now don't worry about the mess over here. I'm gonna be cleaning this up obviously once the car starts. Um, just focused on getting the uh, motor up and running for now. But I have relocated the fuse box from under the hood down to the passenger rear compartment area so I got two fuse boxes here with multiple relays which should cover all of the necessary components that's going to be on the car which isn't much and I got here a 150 amp fuse box you can just pop in pop off as needed like a house got my optima battery over there which needs to be mounted obviously but for the most part everything is in here so what I'm going to do right now is pull the fuel pump relay out because I don't want the car to start Okay guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna hook up the fuel pump relay and start up the engine with no headers. It's going to be really loud. I just wanna see if it even starts and if it does, I'll shut the car off, put the header on, put the O2 sensors on and uh, see if the car idles. Alright guys, and that is what Merka sounds like. The car fired up, no problems, holy shit, open header V8. Actually no, no header V8. That thing is ridiculously loud. I had to shut it off real fast before my neighbors called the cops on me. But the uh, car starts, I'm gonna put the headers on, O2 sensors on, and see if it idles. Alright guys, it's been a couple weeks since I filmed the last section of the video but the FD is ready to go as far as the motor goes. Um, initially, I said that I was gonna install just the headers just to get things going, but I ended up installing the entire exhaust system, which is not much of an exhaust because uh, it's just a straight pipe all the way at the back. So the header on this car goes from four to one, and then the two headers come into one piece and it just goes straight at the back into a single shot exhaust i put on a hood for now put on a hood because i still need to install the quick let system uh probably somewhere here to the frame of the car to make sure this closes because right now it's just kind of duct taped down but that's that uh, i'm very excited and happy that this car is running technically i actually ended up taking down the street in this ridiculously illegal form didn't get pulled over uh not going well for that I'm very excited to take this FD to the next step. I'm gonna start it up for you before I finish the video But I want to do all my talking right now because you probably won't be able to hear me speaking Over the V8 essentially straight pipe exhaust that's cammed out next up I need to start cleaning up the electrical mess that this car is in all of that needs to be cleaned out now that the car is running, I can start focusing on making the thing prettier. I'm going to be installing the speed hot gauges all custom here. Um, I need to in install or figure out the radio panel section there. Obviously, because race car, there will be no radio in this thing. And once that's all done, I'm going to drop it off at a body shop, get all the body panels installed, painted, and then get it dialed in in terms of alignment wheel selection uh tuning the car dyno testing all of that stuff is going to be coming up next so thanks again for watching the video guys i really appreciate your support and see you in the next episodes peace okay here we go oh man i forgot how tight these racing seats are it's claustrophobic in here because race car